Hey guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dan. Today I'm gonna share with you my top five mineral sunscreens this time. You guys know I'm not like the biggest fan of mineral sunscreens. They're problematic, let's just say that. We have the white cast, of course. Uh, you cannot really get high UVA protection with a mineral sunscreen. Usually the higher the UVA protection, the more noticeable the white cast is gonna be. It's kind of like they go hand in hand together. Um, you can avoid that to a certain extent, of course, but I don't think you'll be able to find any sunscreen, mineral sunscreen with a UVA protection of 40 or 50 or something like that, as you can with uh, new generation chemical filter sunscreen, uh, sunscreens. And also the um, mineral sunscreens are drying for a lot of people, me including, some of them are actually drying and I'm, I have oily skin, not all of them, but zinc oxide has this ability to dry out your skin. Of course, mineral sunscreens are amazing for people with uh, sensitive skin. Zinc oxide is soothing, it's anti-inflammatory, so it's amazing for people with sensitive skin. Um, it has even anti-acne benefits, so uh, you may notice acne reduction if you use only mineral sunscreens. Of course, if I had to choose between mineral sunscreens and um, American chemical filled there's sunscreens, okay, I'm like, <laughs> of course I'll choose mineral sunscreens just because I'm really not a fan of old chemical filters and it's a shame that only those are approved in USA at the moment by FDA. But of course if I had to choose between a mineral sunscreen and a new generation chemical sunscreen filters available in Europe and Asia, I would choose the new, gener new generation chemical sunscreens, they're much more for a stable, much higher protection. Uh, less sensitizing for the skin, they're just amazing. Okay, enough rambling about mineral sunscreens and stuff like that. Before I start the actual top, consider following me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel for more skincare videos, uh, check out my TikTok, and um, if you wanna help support the channel, consider checking out my Patreon, okay? So, okay, on the fifth place we have this big boy right here, it's really a big one. It's not the best option, I must admit. Uh, I just wanted to include this one because of how affordable it is. Um, it's pretty way behind the first four options. It is affordable though. It is uh, 16 or $17 for uh, nine fluid ounces, 270 ml. Amazing. Um, Fragrance-free, alcohol-free, fungal acne safe, which is great for people struggling with fungal acne. Also because it's so big, you can apply it on your body. Um, SP 50 plus, water resistant. It does take a little bit of work to spread this one on your skin, as you guys can, as you guys can see, but uh, it's definitely not the worst. The white cast is there, it's noticeable. It's the worst out of this entire list, but generally speaking, it's not, I've seen f way worse than this. Okay, there's like wind coming <laughs> my window. Um, no icing with this one, but this sunscreen is probably the most sticks to your skin so freaking well, it's crazy. Sometimes at the end of the day, even with a uh, double cleanse, I cannot remove this one. It's so, yeah, it's really, it's gonna give you that protection that you need. <laughs> Some people might even find that as a downside, but um, yeah, it is gonna protect you and it's super, super water resistant. Um, not much to say about this one. If you are on a budget, you don't really care about the white cast, you are very pale, it's gonna be a great option. On the fourth place, we have the Benton Mineral Sun Cream SP50+, PA++++. It's a Korean sunscreen, but you can find it on iHerb. I'm gonna leave the link down below. Let's start with the good things about this one. The price, $14, $15 for 50 ml is pretty affordable, alcohol-free, nice texture, nice spreadability, uh, minimal white cast, no icing with this one. Uh, the high UVA protection has a UVA protection of 20, which is very, very good for a mineral sunscreen, especially with such minimal white cast. And it's been tested separately in Spain, if you guys remember the whole Korean sunscreen scandal. What I don't like about this one is the fragrance. It contains rosemary oil, I think. Uh, it's an essential oil and I just, I don't like the smell of that. It dissipates pretty quickly, but Still, people with fragrance allergies are not going to be able to use this one, which is a bummer. And um, I don't like that it's not water resistant. Now, of course, the sunscreen doesn't have to be water resistant in order to be good. But uh, in my opinion, it um, limits the versatility of the product. Like, you're not going to be able to use it 
in the hot summer, humid days, the sunscreen is gonna melt off your face because it's not water resistant. Or if you wanna work out outside or on high sun exposure days. So not, every, not everybody needs a water resistant sunscreen, but I think a water resistant sunscreen is much more versatile and uh, most people just wanna have one sunscreen to use on any occasions. They don't wanna like have 10 different sunscreens. I do have them because I'm <laughs> making these videos, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, because of that, this is on the fourth place. Otherwise, I really like how it spreads on the skin. It has high amount of silicones, which gives it this really nice spreadability. I don't have to work it a lot around like, um, um, what are these called? Come on, eyebrows, of course. <laughs> like I still have to work it a little bit in the eyebrows area, eyebrow area but it's nothing major and it's very good for a mineral sunscreen i've, I've had way worse um and basically that's it on the third place we have uh, this brand is killing me with the names uh skin 1004 madagascar centella airfit sun cream plus sp50 plus p plus 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 this is very very similar to the benton one it's kind of feels like the same product there are some slight differences here and there so yeah i'm not going to talk a whole lot about this one um, it's a little bit more expensive, two more dollars, sixteen dollars basically. Um, besides that, same texture, same finish, uh, same um, spreadability. It has this really nice slip because of, of the high amount of silicones in this. The white cast might be a little bit less noticeable this one, just a tiny bit because it's a little bit tinted. Let me maybe show you. It has this? Um, it's a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Uh, looks white on the camera it's a little bit tinted basically and uh it's kind of the same though it's basically the same product it just smells better and that's that's why it is on the third place <laughs> uh, it smells like roses it still has an essential oil so it's still the same this still has the same problems it's not fragrance free and it's not water resistant but it smells better for me i like this taste and uh, this smell much better basically that's why this is on the third place because it smells better otherwise these are almost the same product. I don't, I cannot find much uh, differences between them. Okay, on the second place, we have the Seraphil Sheer Mineral Face Liquid Sunscreen SPF 50. And two weeks ago, this one was actually my first place. And I've included this one in my top 10 sunscreens of all time. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it down below, or maybe you can check it somewhere in here. But this, basically this was uh, the best mineral sunscreen I've tried until two weeks ago because after that I discovered the one that's going to be in the first place. Um, amazing option. I have just one complaint about this one. Uh, it's uh, affordable, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, fungal acne safe, amazing for people struggling with fungal acne. And by the way, if you find that most sunscreens are breaking you out, you might give this one a shot. It's fungal acne safe and it's gonna be amazing for people struggling with normal acne too. There's a high chance this one is not gonna break you out. Of course, nothing is 100% promised, but uh, I would advise you to give this one a shot. Fungal acne safe, water resistant, no eye sting. This one spreads so nicely. It has this fluid texture, easy to work it on your skin, absorbs pretty quickly. It has a high amount of silicones, has this like, uh, dry oil feel, very minimal white cast on my skin tone. Most people are not even gonna be able to notice it, most probably. Um, my only complaint about this one is that the UVA protection is unknown. Maybe 10, maybe 20, we don't know. And especially because this one is an American sunscreen. In Europe, we have the, um, the law where the sunscreen, the UVA protection of the sunscreen should be at least one third of the SPF. So a sunscreen with SPF 50 plus, it has to have the UV protection higher than 20. Otherwise, it's not gonna be approved. This one, it's an American sunscreen, so I have no idea. The, the same law doesn't apply to this one, so that's my main, I'm pretty sure it has a nice UV protection, but because of the fact that I'm not completely sure, I cannot put this one on the first place, because the one on the first place, I know the UV protection for sure, so um, yeah. Otherwise, it's an amazing option. Basically, the um, unknown UV protection is my only complaint about this one. 
And on the first place, we have the Helio Care Pediatrics Mineral SP50 Plus, PA Plus, 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 but it has a PA rating actually. PA4 Plus is interesting. Uh, this is the newest sunscreen that I have. It's basically the perfect mineral sunscreen, in my opinion. Um, it's a little bit pricey, it's $20, so a little bit more expensive than the other options, but I think it's worth it. Fragrance free, alcohol free. Uh, water resistant is actually very water resistant and it's uh, sand resistant or whatever that means no I sting spreads incredibly nicely on the skin the first few ingredients in this one are silicones which make the product it gives it this really nice spreadability very easy to apply uh, spreads like a dream basically it, it has this uh, dry oil silicone feel so you some people may not like it I think people who don't like silicones but I, I really really like it um, easy to work around your eyebrows I, I don't know about the beard because I don't have one uh, but I don't think at the moment there is a sunscreen a mineral sunscreen on the market to work for like an actual beard most probably there isn't only chemical sunscreens are gonna work for that yeah, it has this really nice finish minimal white cast uh, it gives you this um, slight glow, but it's not shiny or anything like that. It is it gives you a, a nice glow, I must say. Actually, if I think about it now, all these sunscreens kind of have the same finish on the skin. They, they all give a little bit of a shine, but not too much. Just like the, the perfect amount. That's nice. Um, and yeah, no, no complaints about this one. It's, uh, the UVA protection is definitely higher than 20 because it's SP50+, and it's a European sunscreen. Basically, that's it. This is overall the best mineral sunscreen I've tried so far. I wish I tried it earlier, so I, I, would, I would have definitely included it in my top 10 sunscreens of all time. But um, it is what it is. Before I end up the video, I must say all these sunscreens tend to be a little bit drying. I have oily skin, so I don't really mind that, but the, the zinc oxide in them has the ability to absorb oil, so they might be a little bit drying for some people. Um, kind of the same amount, same amount of dryness, I, I don't really, I cannot really test that. Or, yeah, if you encounter that problem, I, I don't really know. When you try to like not use the sunscreen many days in a row or try to switch things up, something like that. But basically that is my top five mineral sunscreens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you find it helpful. If you did so, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what um, mineral sunscreens are your favorites. Maybe I'm gonna try some of them. Leave some suggestions down below. I would definitely be glad to read them. Just comment something helps with the algorithm exposing this video to as many people as possible. I love you all guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.